Okay, so what have we learnt with Instant Guitar? Well, he took the 30-minute challenge, which was great. It started off with us learning how to hold, hold a pick, then moving on to how to strum a guitar, uh, how to strum in time using the tick-tock method, and one, two, three, four, tick-tock, tick-tock. We then learned how to tune a guitar, how to do it manually, but more importantly, use an electronic tuner. I do recommend you get one of these because it will make life so much easier for you. They come in all shapes and sizes, you just need to get yourself a basic one. A very useful tool to have. We've learned a little bit about tablature. That will help you again when you're moving on with your guitar playing because you'll come across tablature all over the place. So we've got a little bit of an understanding of that. We've learned how to understand my chord diagrams and how they relate to other chord diagrams that you will come across. We've learned three chords, E, A and D. We've also learned how to strum those chords, which strings not to hit, for example. So if you're, tuning, you're playing the chord of E, you can hit all the six strings, A, miss the big fat one and all that sort of stuff. So that's, that's been good. We've learned those. We've learned how to change those chords seamlessly by using the magic word and. And now I'm just going to quickly run through what we've done with the chords, how the TikTok method works, and how we change seamlessly. Right, we're going to play those three chords, starting with the chord of E, then to A, then to D, using the magic word and. We're going to strum the strings eight times, then change, using the TikTok method. So remember, we can hit all the strings in the big chord of E. Friend, you just played instant guitar.